this is part two of my one night in Ao Nang video. This is the main street of Ao Nang. It's got lots of shopping, restaurants and nightlife. And in this video I'll give you some tips for staying in Ao Nang and show you what we got up to while we were here. Well, as a shopping along here, you will find there's a big night market area near the mosque. Lots of clothes, souvenirs, and food. And there are different evening markets open from about 3 o'clock in the afternoon till 7 o'clock in the evening every day of the week made a video on them recently you can check out that video in the link here well we found some food this is city cafe and we got ourselves a pretty good spread Vaughn got chicken satay and also she got a rice soup, khao tong. We got some Thai style spring rolls. Ananda got a fried rice and I got a red pork curry. Everything looks really good as always here. The spring rolls, I've already had one of these. Lots of veggies in there and some noodles. Very crunchy and extremely yummy. Pond's rice soup looks good. Again, lots of veggies in there. Lots of rice, some pork. It's topped with some green onion, and there's plenty of carrot in there, and mushrooms. It's really tasty. This one's eaten as a breakfast, as well as at other times of the day. It's always very yummy. The chicken satay is pieces of chicken and a satay sauce. I'm going to break off some of that chicken, dip that in the sauce. Yeah. The sauce is very creamy and peanutty, a little bit spicy and a little bit sweet. Very, very yum. Then Ananda's fried rice, he's been hopping into that. So fried rice with pork, there's heaps of veggies in there. Lots of corn, peas, kale, and carrots. Very tasty. As always, can't really go wrong with Thai fried rice. It's very good. And then my red curry. So I'll flatten up my rice out. Spoon some of that out. This one likewise has got lots of veggies in there. There's broccoli, baby corn, lots of carrot, some sort of gourd, and also beans. Get some of the sauce as well. It's been a long while since I've had a red curry. It's a bit spicy, not too spicy though. A little bit sweet, a bit salty. Very, very yum. They got lots of choices here on the menu. Heaps of Thai choices as well as quite a few Western options.
So breakfast time, they got a whole heap of juices and cereals, fruit. Pastries. What else we got? Boiled rice with vegetables. Sausages, ham, eggs. Looks good. It's the next morning and it's a perfect day. It's actually the rainy season now. Lots of people ask me about the weather, different times of the year. This is early September, right in the middle of the rainy season and as you can see it's perfect. The weather you're going to get really is luck of the draw and unfortunately it can rain at any time of the year. Well it's checkout time, Ananda doesn't want to leave, he's obviously had a good time here. He's not at all keen on leaving. So we've had a great stay, as you can probably guess. The hotel is very well laid out and it's fairly central. If you're looking for accommodation in Anang, here's some other places where some of my friends and family have stayed over the last year or so. So this is the room at the Krabby Heritage Hotel. So, bathroom, it's got a bath. A little shower there in the corner. We've got in there a little wardrobe. And then a flat screen TV. Big bed. It's the other side of the wardrobe there. Little sitting area, desk, tin coffee facilities, and a fridge. There's no safe here, they've got safety boxes down there. And a tiny little balcony here overlooking the car park. This is the room at the Alice in Ao Nang. Walk in and bathroom here. Toilet, window to outside and then a big shower. Behind there is just the window to the bedroom. And then wardrobe there, big bed, bedside drawers and cupboard, coffee and tea making facilities, flat screen TV and bar fridge. Now nah, some glasses, mat and cupboard. And then little sitting area and out here is the balcony. This is the room at the El Resort in El Nang Krabi. It's a very nice room. Bathroom through here. Very big bathroom. Big shower, basin, toilet. Very nice cupboards. And then here, we have the wardrobe. The umbrellas, safe, slippers, robe, ironing board some drawers, it's got a coffee machine, another a tea and co instant coffee kettle, bar fridge there, 
little sitting area, big flat screen TV, huge bed, and this room opens out onto the swimming pool. So it's got a nice little sitting area here. During the day, this is a waterfall. And here's one of the swimming pools. Very nice. So that's one night in Ao Nang. Is one night long enough? No, it's not. There is plenty to do here. My first trip, I came here for three weeks and I still didn't do everything. As well as the stuff I've showed you, there's plenty of other tours, lots of nature and lots of other stuff to explore in the surrounding areas. Probably two weeks is a good length of time. You most likely won't get to everything in that time, but but you'd have a good interesting itinerary that you could take at your own pace in that time and you'd get the opportunity to see quite a bit. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for lots more videos. I post new Thailand food and travel videos every Wednesday. Thanks heaps for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.